Hey there YouTube, Scott Stevens here. How you doing this evening? Well, welcome to another edition of MLB The Show 23. Two times the XP grind here. Going to continue the work on the Negro League storylines. And then, after that, got a bunch more Conquest ready to go. Show you that real quick before we get started. Okay. Hey there, Godspeed. How you doing tonight? Thank you for joining. All right, let's take a peek here at, uh, what was I going to show you? Oh, the Conquest. I got a lot of Conquest ready to go after we finish the storyline for tonight. Uh, let's see, we got the Jackie Robinson one ready to finish off. I'm good, Godspeed, I'm good. Glad to hear you are as well. Uh, let's see, the Jackie Robinson one is ready to finish off. The Smooth Jazz is ready to be finished off. And the Affinity West, Team Affinity West Conquest is ready to be finished off as well. I started working on this big one here, the Nation of Baseball. And I'm going to tell you, this one is a bitch. As you can see, nothing is done. I started over again because it is uh, it is very difficult. Not only is it very difficult, but it takes a very long time between turns because it has to uh, simulate every single other team. In the smaller conquest, you know, there's like four or five other teams. It goes pretty quick till your turn comes up again. In this one, it could literally be five minutes uh, between turns, and it is very difficult to do. And when you factor that in and combine it with uh, the frustration of uh, accomplishing nothing <laughs> and losing continuously. I had uh, this little section here today, and I was all the way over to here. I had this little square here I had taken over Colorado. And uh, that's it. That's all I had after several hours of work. And the A's came in and were taking it apart. The Royals came in and were taking it apart. The Twins came in and were taking it apart. I just quit and restarted it because I was about to be eliminated. This one is extremely difficult. And if I remember correctly, I had uh, MLB The Show 21, and I did not play this one. And that's why, because it, it's so difficult, and uh, it doesn't appear that it has been changed. So anyway, that's what we have ready to do. Uh, let's see, I don't know if I have any packs to open up later. Oh, I do. I have a, oh, yep, I have a Diamond Duos Pack 4, which is a waste of time. And two players to add into my uh, lineup for the National League Central. I'll go over who has missions going on and such before I um, get started. You can see I have 17,000 stubs. Been flipping them cards, flipping them cards. That's what you got to do to make money on here if you're not going to spend any money. All right, we're going to get started with the Negro League storylines as... I have been doing. We have Satchel Paige, Hilton Smith, and Rube Foster complete. Tonight, it's Hank Thompson. Talented in the field and at the plate, Hank Thompson found his way into baseball's history books multiple times. Nine episodes in this one. Should be fun. He's a third baseman outfielder, so all batting. No pitching today, which is going to be fun. All right, so let's get started. Oh, wait first. Let's see what we got. Pretty much the same rewards for every storyline. Skin, uniform, ballin' as a habit pack, icon, stadium, XP, and stubs. He's a 90 overall. Okay. Our first mission is going to be to tally two hits against the Chicago American Giants. So let's get to it. Hank Thompson is one of baseball's barrier breakers although so many folks have never heard of who this legendary ball player was. Hank Thompson, along with his Monarch teammate, Willard Brown, would join the St. Louis Browns in 1947. They would become the first two African-American teammates in the modern era of Major League Baseball to play on a Major League team. Just shortly after Jackie Robinson, Larry Doby had integrated both the National League and American Leagues, respectively. They all were part of breaking baseball's color barrier. But Hank Thompson, he had all the tools 
to be a superstar. He had star quality all over him. All right, tally two hits. Look at the beauty in, in these shots. I know I've said it a hundred times, but man, I love these. I love these screenshot, these uh, shots of the stadiums. The all-around talent, Hank Thompson, to the dish now. Hank Thompson, We're at Mule of course, Field. Part of some great teams with the New York Giants in the 1950s. That one oh, ran no, inside, no. almost got him. Before Hank made it to the major leagues, he broke out in the Negro American League. In his first year with the Monarchs, he was only 17 years old, and he hit 315. Base hit. That's Throws impressive. The lead runner at second, two on and two out. That's pretty impressive. 17 he years old. Rookie, Thompson was one of the best hitters in the Negro American League in OPS plus and as an all around hitter. And a few seasons later, his power started to really develop. Hey, Bonnie, thank you on for joining. Second, might be thank you for the Cubs thumbs up. For one, and that's two. As well, hope everything's going well over there in the art studio. Appreciate you joining. Come back into the mound. Huh? The throw to first, and that's the third out. Yeah, these um the uh, the shots at the current stadiums. I mean, they're good, but I think these ones in the Negro League storylines are much better. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I, I think they have a much crisper, cleaner look to them. Maybe it's just because they're new. Because we haven't seen them before. There you go. And that's a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. All right, one down, eight to go. We got 100 stubs, 100 XP. Episode two is Instant Star. I love the cartoons, too. They did a very good job with those. Henry Hank Thompson is a tremendously underrated baseball player. He joins the Kansas City Monarchs at age 17 and became almost an instant star, playing the infield primarily third base. But Hank Thompson was also a war hero. He was a machine gunner during World War II, fought in the Battle of the Bulge. When he was discharged from the military in 1946, resumed a great career right the moment he gets back with the Monarchs, Hank Thompson had stardom written all over him. Thank you for your service, sir. I don't think she ever stays, Godspeed. <laughs> I think Bonnie just pops in, says hi, and then goes on with her tick tocking or her painting. That's a cool shot right there. Ah, oh, I missed it. Tally, two extra base hits. All right. Oh, and two games. Tally, two extra base hits. Game one of two. All right, so we have Thanks two games to do it. In now. Singy Thompson had an unreal doubleheader one day in 1946. Two homers in each game, four total. Wow. Yeah, I got a few more, Godspeed. And They're starting to slow down a little. Nice I got a lot when run. um, and that ends the inning. they were doing all the previews for this game and, and all the upcoming stuff. I got a lot with those. But they've really slowed down since the game came out. But that's all right. I seem to be getting a, a few every day, so it's cool. We're getting there. We're getting there. 
Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. I think I'm at 9.35 now or 9.36, something like that. I got, I got another couple today. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. I'm trying to put up, you know, good content of the missions and stuff so people can see, you know, different parts of the game that maybe they're not playing or haven't been successful on or things like that and... I'm trying to put up content like that. Swing Hoping that that'll lead to more subscribers. Alright, there's one extra base hit. He's got an 81 speed, so... Hank Thompson has some wheels on him as well. Alright, that's one. So now we gotta get one in game two. Continue moment. Yeah, I'm putting up all of all of these missions in the storylines. I'm going to put them all up individually. I rip them from the stream, so all nine of Satchel Pages, all nine of the other ones, um, so that they can Hank go Thompson up individually and people can see them if they haven't played them or maybe they haven't been successful at them. Ooh, that was two inside. Taylor puts the squeeze on that one, and the inning is over. This is the Comiskey Park. I like this stadium. Almost kind of looks like ti old Tiger Stadium. Same template. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Glass gets under it. Makes the grab. Runner tags at second, and he's in safely at third with one out. That sounded a lot better off the bat. Ah. And a base hit right there. Here's the throw. Not in time. He's safe at the plate. It's two zip. Well, he comes through clutch with the RBI single. That was big. Pitch was away, so he definitely pulled off it there. Not what you want to do with the pitch in that location, really, but he was able to guide uh, it go to the field for the knock. Thank you. This may be my last at bat. Next offering is in for a strike. In the air, left field. Come on, drop. And that should be extra bases. There you go. Good and job. And that's going to get into the corner. I could probably and hit he's third. He's in second with a two-out double. Very good, very good. All right, we got uh, an Icon's Choice Pack, 100 and 100. Next episode, great hitter at 17 years old. That looks like an old New York Giants uniform he's wearing. Tally two hits. Here comes the sweet swinging 17 year old Hank Thompson. What an all-around season Thompson had in 1947 for the Monarchs. Led the league in homers, six in the league in wins above replacement. The flip to the pitcher covering, that's one out in the bottom of the second. I never understood why the Monarchs were uh, Monarchs blue and yellow on the road, they had but they were red games. and white at home. Combined. Two completely different uniforms. Line. Could be extra bases, and that's going to roll to the wall. Yeah, let's go to third. Around second now, going for three. Down, Two, Hank. Relay to third. Oh, He's in okay. there. Yeah. 
get over his head. There you go. In the left center, base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. The throw in, Thompson into second, and he's got a double. And I appreciate you, Godspeed, for joining every stream. I appreciate it as often as you do. Thank you very much. We got a stadium, 100 and 100 for that one. Hank Thompson had all the tools you needed to be a great star. He was essentially a five-tool third baseman who hit for power, hit for average, could feel, could run, and could throw. Played a dazzling infield, primarily third base. Yeah, that's how good Hank Thompson was. And this guy is cool. I like this guy. He knows his shit. I'd like to sit down and have a couple of beers with this guy. All right, we got to hit a home run with Hank here at Mulebach Field. So two down. Here's Thompson to hit now. Well, not a lot of players could fill up a box score like Hank Thompson. Power, speed, batting average. He really had it all, boo. Into center and a base hit. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the Oh, that was a good pitch. Mind, and that's a it was up hit. in the zone. So I got on base and keeps it going. great contact. Went up there How did that not get airborne? Got something he could handle. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Well, wow. I'm right on these in there. Just hit. line so drive. Man aboard with a one-out single. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Maybe High that's it. The air out to right. Nope. Warning Two track. Away. He hit the ball well this evening. In 1948, Hank oh, not over the Negro yet. American League in steals a year after he led it in homers. Just a really amazing combo. Thompson mm -hmm. in the box now. Take strike one. Some guys okay. are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Come on. That's ripped into the outfield. Nope. Ball game. Uh, well, you look at what hit Michael the ball Harris hard every single at bat. At the... Could not get one over the wall. They did a great job with the fans and the clothing. Hank Thompson digging in now. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Up the middle, gathers and throws to first. And that is that. Foul ball. Oh, out in front of that one. They got airborne. Pitch. And oh, again, out in front of it. Now this game, I'm out in front of them. Next offering is down low. And the count one and two. Next one misses. And the count's even at two. Come on, bring that shit up, meat. Yeah. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Almost decapitated the third base coach.
righty delivers. Liner, base hit. Newman coming home. He scores, and they lead by two. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. You'll we'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early. I've never heard that phrase before in my life. With a beautiful line drive in the You'll field. often hear it, huh? I've never heard it once. Damn it. And a base hit right there. Man aboard on the leadoff single. I mean, like what? Seven for my last eight at bats? Just can't get a home run. Middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. That was way outside. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. Grounder might be two. Fires to second for one, and that's two. Hank Thompson steps into the box. Come on, Hank. Perry leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. One now I'm behind everything. <laughs> Puts it in the air out towards left center. And yeah. that will end the inning. It will. This to center field. And makes the grab. And that is that. That is that. Check swing, but he went too far. Strike no, one. How did he go foul. too far? Didn't even break the plane. The O2. Come on, Hank. Next offering is down low. The, the announcer sounds so bored. <laughs> that might be. Maybe. Nope. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That is the inning. Crowd reaction was a little late there. Here's Thompson to hit now. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next pitch misses. And now All right. It's -0. Bring it up. Bring it up. Nope. They say it went. No, he did not. The bat did not go that far in front of the plate. Come on. in for a strike two and two bullshit man inside three and two the count all right well I'm certainly not gonna walk because I need a home run so I'm gonna be swinging maybe I can follow it off and that is that yeah no such luck 
That might be my last at bat, too. Yep. Let's try again. So two down. Hank Thompson digging in now. Well, not a lot of players could fill up a box score like Hank Thompson. Power, speed, batting average. He really had it all, boo. He's not filling up shit tonight. Oh, way out in front of it. The line, and that one Started out strong. good. A lot of good at bats. In 1948, Hank led the Negro American League in steals a year after he led it in homers. Just a really amazing combo. Well, pretty clear to me. He was trying to go deep right there, but you yeah. got to get a pitch that you can handle. No kidding, dude. The 0 2. And oh. down on strikes he goes. Jesus. Third out, and that ends the frame. Now I'm swinging at all kinds of bad. Well, you look at pitches. what Michael Harris did in 2022, and at the same age Hank was in 1947 when he led the league in homers. Pretty similar profile. First offering and it just misses. How is that, Chris? Do tell. Was he 17 years old? Inside just missed. You're not going to tell us, huh? Damn on it. a line base hit. Thought I was on that one. I was. Right down the middle. Good. See that look of disgust in his eyes? I don't blame you, Hank. You're getting robbed here. In there for strike one. He's only got 70 power. 89 contact. This one's yeah, he's just, to left. They aren't going that high Lance in the air. Makes the grab one away. Or that far. I think I've hit one to the warning track. Uh-oh, that one has some height on it. Nope, warning track. And that is the inning. Hank Thompson steps into the box. Last try. Oh. Laser could be extra bases. Bradley be. headed for the plate. Maybe I can work in. another at bat out of this. Holds it Keep it going, oh, fellas. I need another at bat. Game, so great oh. job there, stepping up to the challenge. So two down. Here's Thompson to hit now. Good eye, Hank. Good eye. Here comes a pitch. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. McDonald makes the grab, and that's the inning. Line drive, base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Waste I don't know why they there. won't. They just Everything won't elevate. On time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those all. Yeah, I mean, he's good. obviously a great line drive hitter. That was crap. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Just kind of slice that one into center. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like... Oh, uh, that might be. That team. might be it. Nope. And it hits the fence. Yeah, you're right, Godspeed. He's only got 70. Quickly. Lead runner hangs on it. Second. He only has 70 has power. Tying run moves into scoring position. I think that the... Uh, so two down. I think he may need to hit an inside the park homer. That's what I did when uh, with the Reggie Jackson mission not too long ago. I can't remember which program the it was associated way. with. 
but I, I could not get a home run with, with Reggie Jackson. But he hit a fly ball, and it went off the wall and bounced away from the fielder, and he had enough time. He made it around the bases, and it counted just the same as, as a home run. So inside the Parker's count, and I think this may be what I need to do with uh, Hank Thompson here. He's got 81 speed, so he's got what it takes Jones to do it. To I didn't mean to swing at that. One. He's out over to first Thanks, he's good. 70 power, 89 contact. It's good. Uh, good numbers. Not outstanding. Yeah, that's ball one. Ball one, no strike. Line drive. I wonder what his Looks numbers are against on lefties. And that'll end the inning. Hank Thompson steps into the box. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. I haven't got a perfect perfect yet, I don't think. Next offering is downstairs. Hard ground ball, base knock. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Everything came together for him. Just kept it simple. So two down. There's Thompson to hit now. That one oh. ripped. And there's a hit. Yep. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two out. I think what I need is a gapper that gets to the wall and then the uh, fielder has a problem fielding it. That may be what I need to do here to get it inside the parker. He makes the grab and there's one away. Because he clearly has only warning track power here. I don't know how he led the league in home runs, but at least not with these numbers. He didn't do it. In the Sounded right good. Field. Nope. McDonald under it. Nope. He's got it. Runner tags and goes to third. Throw comes in quickly as the lead runner at third gets the stop sign. Benjamin back to work. And first offering is fouled off. You can get. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. You can hit a low pitch over the wall. Couldn't it's a little more difficult, but that. just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream well, this about. This guy in the cage. You're just hoping you get in the cookie. ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. What's right this? Look at it. Lefties. He's and even worse. Is fouled off. 61 power against at lefties. So. Obviously. Oh, and he hits a home run against the lefty. <laughs> Weaker numbers. He gets it done against. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it hit the top of the wall and bounced over. She was a wall scraper. Wow, he has worse numbers against the lefty, and he hits the homer against the lefty. All right, we got a uh, batting skin 250 and 250 for episode four. Thank you, sir. Uh, episode 5, Back to KC. Thank you, Godspeed. The St. Louis Browns thought that Hank Thompson and Willard Brown would do for them what Jackie had done for Brooklyn in terms of black fans coming over to watch the Browns play. And so they never got a fair shot with the St. Louis Browns. Hank Thompson and Willard Brown both realized that they had left a team in the Kansas City Monarchs who were far better than the St. Louis Browns. Hank Thompson comes back home to Kansas City and immediately puts up huge numbers. Shortly thereafter, the New York Giants come calling. And Henry Thompson again would break barriers by becoming the only player to integrate two major league teams, the St. Louis Browns and the New York Giants. Oh, we're gonna get to, we're gonna get to play in the polo grounds? I hope so. That's where the New York Giants played. No, that doesn't look like... To, that's not the Polo Grounds. Tally, one RBI, don't strike out. Oh, he's back in Kansas City hey, now. Okay. In now. 
So don't strike out, get a hit, and bring the run in. I guess. The Monarchs. Boy, he lit up the league. He did, Boo. Led the league in steals, second in homers, third in war. That's a base hit. I like scores. when you have success on one pitch. Love those. Love those. That was episode five. We got a bat skin, 250 and 250. Episode six, Hank and Bob Beller. In 1946, when Bob Feller and Satchel Paige hook up in an epic barnstorming tour from East Coast to West Coast right after the World Series in 1946, Bob Feller had his All-Stars and the legendary Satchel Paige had his Satchel Paige All-Stars. We're talking the creme de la creme on both teams. Satchel's lineup was stacked. Buck O'Neill, Quincy Truth. Willard Brown. And according to Bob Feller, the best of the bunch on that Satchel Page All-Star team was a young Hank Thompson. All right, what's he got to do? This is the Polo Grounds. Tally one to hit. No, this isn't the Polo Grounds. It looked like it. This might be Forbes Thompson Field. Coming up to face the heater from Van Meter, Bob Feller. Yeah, this is Forbes Field. And first offering is fouled off. Chris, the matchups Thompson had against Bob Feller, they really propelled him into the National League. And he dodges that fastball. Boog, Look at how high that flagpole is. Hank played in. He hit several big homers against Bob Feller in a year where Feller led the majors in wins. It's about three times higher than it needs to be. The one, two. On the ground to short, Marshall. On the run, throw to first. And that is the third out of the inning. Pitch misses outside. One and oh. Yeah. And here it comes. Now fly ball to right center. Hunter under it. Drops into the glove. And that's the third out. He had a long, long way to go to get that one. There you go. And a base hit on the line. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Success. It was a perfect, perfect line drive. That was episode six. We got a ball in as a habit pack, 250 and 250. Next episode is episode seven, more barriers broken. Thompson would then go on to face in a game against Larry Doby, where they become the two first black players to compete against one another in Major League Baseball. Oh, but there's more. Hank Thompson would face the great Don Nuka, and it would be the first time that a black hitter had faced a black pitcher in Major League Baseball history. And of course, Hank Thompson, Willie Mays, and the great Monty Irvin would form the Major's first all-black outfield, even though Hank Thompson was an infielder by trade. His versatility made him very special. All right, 
So maybe this is the polo grounds because that's the outfield they patrolled together. Nope, Sportsman's Park. Tally three total bases. And welcome back. Hank Thompson steps into the box. That outfield of Thompson, Willie Mays, so he's and playing Monty for the Browns. Irvin, not just the first all black outfield in Major League history, but it came in the 1951 World Series. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. They're going to give me one or two. Way too late, safe there. Two, okay. They talk about the Giants, but do a mission with the St. Louis Browns. I don't and get it. It is really hard to see the ball. Or a change up. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. Ground ball up the middle. They get the force. Out. They limit the damage here. First offering is fouled off. That all black outfield we were talking about, it happened because New York's right fielder got hurt sliding in the third in the last game of the season. Just there you go. That'll do it. Thompson hit the shot heard round. We the need world. three and bases. That's how Hank Thompson we got four. Urban in the outfield in the World Series. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Well, that's cool. That's interesting information. I never knew that. All right, that was episode seven. We got a uniform, 250 and 250. Episode eight is Hank Hits Them Home. Maybe they're not going to let us see the polo grounds. Yep, Sportsman's Park again. Tally three RBIs. Cool picture right there. Tops it to the plate with a big opportunity here. Base is loaded, I'm guessing. Yep. So you got to get and something deep enough. That misses off the outside edge. 82, well, 82 speed on first base, so we get something in the gap. Try to get out. Or if we hit it into the seat. That one is absolutely belted. Oh, it went off the top off the of the wall. wall. Oh, 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 oh. And they take a two-run lead. It now bounced off the top of the wall out, in. Wow. Best game of Hank Thompson's Giants career. It couldn't have bounced like past him. Three homers, it bounced right to him. And a win over St. Louis. The game and is still going, though, so I still off. can get the three RBIs. I have two. Runner at third here. And fouled off. So apparently you didn't need to get them all on that at bat. Yeah, that game we were talking which about. Is the good. Giants won 13 to 8, and all their runs are driven in by Hank Thompson and Willie Mays. That'll do it. That's a base hit as a run scores. Sounded like the bat broke. All right. That was episode eight. We got 1,500 and 1,500. Episode nine. Hall of Fame career cut short. Henry Thompson's career was cut so short by some of his own doing and he would be the first if he was still with us to tell you that he lived his life in such a way that it really did kind of hurt his professional baseball career he only plays nine years in the major leagues and again it's so unfortunate that his career was cut so dreadfully short that it never got to play out in the fashion in which Henry Thompson would be the first to say that he wished it would have had things worked out maybe a little bit differently. Henry suffered a lot of darkness during his childhood that unfortunately carried over into his playing career that really hindered him from having what I believe would have potentially been a Hall of Fame caliber career.
All right, that's the end of the Hank Thompson storyline. 100% complete. There's his card. It's a 90. It's a core card. Take a look at what he's got for numbers. Diamond hitting and defense. Right field, left field, center field, shortstop. He plays every, everywhere except first base and catcher. Yeah, see, his power is 70 and 61. Decent speed. Not a bad card if you were going with 90s. All right. All right, so... I don't know what that time is. Okay. All right, so we got Satchel done. Hilton, Rube, and Hank... Thompson. Tomorrow I will return tomorrow night with another stream. I'm still I'm not done yet here tonight, but tomorrow night's stream will be Buck O'Neill, first baseman. And we have him left, Jackie Robinson, John Donaldson, and Martin Digo. So we got four left, and we've done four, so we're halfway through. That's pretty cool. Alright. I got some subs there, twenty thousand now. I'm trying to get the Gary Carter. 99 card. At last check, Gary was 55,000. Let's see. Let's see if that's changed or not. Let's see. There he is down there. Oh, he dropped a little bit. He's at 53,000. Skull glove. That I want that card. 53,000. I'm at 20. Okay. All right. So let's take a look here at... Uh, programs the season one reward path I did reach the end and I've completed the wheel twice today unfortunately both times I completed it I was not on uh, recording and you never really know when you're gonna hit it so I'm hoping I can hit it during the stream here tonight every 25,000 you get a spin of the wheel and uh, what did I get? I got stubs one time, and I got a diamond duos pack, which, as with the rest of them, amounted to nothing. Um, so we're hoping that maybe I can, what do I do, 15,000? Maybe I can get 15,000 here tonight, uh, since it's double XP. Uh, Team Affinity, 100% of AL East, 42% of NL East, 37% AL Central. 47% NL Central, 10% of the AL West, big fat zero on the NL West. So still making a lot of progress. I did finish the April Tops Now today. We got Captains. I don't know who I chose. Uh, I chose Rendon. Yep, so these are finished. And I'll tell you what, here's a hint. The April Tops Now has a lot of cards in it. A lot of set one cards, and I'm going to show you right now. Set one is where I did get the uh, Jazz Chisholm yesterday, and, oh, and I'm working on the Trey Turner. You need 110 to get the Trey Turner card. I was, I think I was 31 shy yesterday. I went through that uh, Tops Now. It gave me a lot of cards, and I'm now at 91. Let's see if I have any more I got one more somehow so I now have 92 Trey Turner I need 110 I really want that card so uh, I'm 18 cards away so hopefully whatever I can get between now and next week's tops now um, that'll get me there I'm hoping I'm hoping and then you get uh, 10,000 XP as well Okay, so gonna hit the conquests. Oh, I want to show you my uh, lineup right now. Many Minoso is in left field. He he is working on a mission. Trout is in center. Giancarlo Stanton in right. Freddie Freeman at first. Jazz Chisholm at second. Francisco Lindor is at short. He is working on a mission. So I only have two guys currently working on missions. And you know what? I think I have a pack. I need to upgrade that. And pitching, I have Burt Blylevin working on a mission. And nobody in the bullpen. So, 
Yeah, we have, uh, so what do we have? Left field and shortstop working on missions right now. Let's see, Lindor and Minoso. Yep, okay. So that's left field and shortstop. All right. I do have a pack. I'm pretty sure that I can open it. We can get a couple more guys. Balling is a habit. Oh, let's open these. But I think I do. There we go. Yep. Choose two players. We'll do that first. Ah, we'll do these first. These are, these are nothing. The bat skins one. Don't have this one. I'm guessing you're going to get them all. Stadiums. These are all Negro League stadiums. We have Southside Park. Forbes Field we played at today. We have Comiskey Park. And we have Mulebach Field. We played at Forbes Field today. Not that one, though. We played at the other Forbes Field. That one doesn't have the scoreboard in left field. Ah, well, pick it anyway. And the icons. I'm just getting all of them. You're going to get all of them anyway. Okay, now let's see what we got here. So we have a left fielder and a shortstop currently. We have we have McGuire. We have Keston. We have Bly Levin. So all we need is this guy and this guy. Okay, that's Jonathan India, second base. Chris Bryant, third. He also plays... Oh, his defense sucks. But he plays a lot more positions. So let's pick him. And what do we have? We have Woodruff. We have Soriano. And we have Bay. So we have Michael Waka. And Sonny Gray left. All right. Is he a starting pitcher? He is. All right, we'll pick Sonny Gray. They're both starters, so it doesn't matter. All right, let me write this down. Got so many missions. You have to write them down to stay on top of them. All right. All right, so we're going to put Sonny into the lineup here. We started working with Bly Levin already, so we're going to keep going with him first. And... Chris Bryant, where does he, yeah. No, we don't want him in left field. He's an 82, well, I will just put him on the bench for now. We'll do those packs later. All right, where is he? Third base. Yeah, why did he put him on left field? I don't understand that. Third. We'll put him for third. I do not like this new layout at all. All right. And what I've been doing with my batting lineup is anybody that has a mission going on, I'm putting them at the top of the order. So all I have is uh, Minnie Minoso, Chris Bryant, and Francisco Lindor right now. All right. Yeah, I put them at the top of the order because in three inning games, if people are going to get two at-bats, I'd rather it be them. And I really don't care about the rest of the order. We're only playing Conquest, so it doesn't matter. All right. So, let's see. Let's finish off this Jackie Robinson. We're playing the Dodgers. 
nothing to let you guys choose. There's only one option to play LA. April 7 p.m. And we're going to work with Burt Bly 11 first because he's already got some action and so his mission is already underway. If we need a reliever, though, we'll bring in Sonny Gray. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. The show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's the Hurricanes taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. Ready to go now? And stepping in is the speedy Minnie Minoso. He's hitting 667 with a homer and two RBIs. That one the other way. Takes it in for the out. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. He's hitting 500, no homers, two RBIs. I did get the 99, Francisco Lindor. From time to time, and he's pretty good out of the boss pack. When I reach the end of the season one reward pack. And that card has been really good. He's batting like 700. He's got a couple of home runs already. I had to take him out of the lineup to get this Lindor in. And yeah, I missed it. Noah Syndergaard did indeed sign with the Dodgers in the offseason. I missed that. And I was confused last week when he was playing for him. I couldn't figure out why. <laughs> so there's Chris Bryant with his first hit. As a member of the Miami Hurricanes. And Stan rips one into the gap and the Canes are gonna take a two to nothing lead. He'll score easily. It's two nothing. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Nice line drive to the pole side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. There's another one. Back up the middle. is getting ripped here. Round second heads for third. And the throws offline, safe at third. So one out with two aboard. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. And a foul ball. One down, runners at second and third. Next offering in the dirt. And the count is one and one. Next pitch is outside. It's a big opportunity. Just right here. a bit outside. The way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. The 2 2 on the way. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Bobashek gets a yes, chance to hit. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Come on, Bo. Two big runs out there. On the ground. Nope. Muncie sends it to first. And Bichette is retired. It's all right. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. For the Dodgers, the first baseman. Burton Blyde, 11. Well, after putting up a nice inning on He's performed pretty well. He's pitched uh, you look for the to go out two or there, three games for me Don't give so far. And he has not pitched badly at all for being an 83. The bats back up there while they're hot. There's a swing and a miss. And now it's even up. And the righty deals. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Chris Taylor now. A little out front there as he swings through it. Next offering is in for a strike. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Here's Mookie now. Now. 
And a foul ball. Singy Mookie Betts, given name Marcus Lynn Betts, he attributes a nickname from his parents watching Mookie Blaylock play basketball. Yeah, Boog, and the cool coincidence with that name are the initials, MLB. That's right. That's a coincidence. I don't know if it's cool or not. Too. <laughs> and that oh, just oh, misses. It did. Take. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. You can see they still haven't fixed the logos in that particular display. New arm out of the bullpen. Brewstar Grotterol. Power slider guy, bro. He throws it hard. Mike Trout finally got his 30th home run. He's at 410 now. 36, 32 homers. 76 RBIs. He was chasing number 30 for a long time. Here's a rocket out to left. And out number one on the grab. And now the catcher comes up to him. Johnny Bench. 352, two homers, 16 RBIs. Yeah, I really want to get that Gary Carter card. That's my next goal to save up for. I want the Trey Turner, but you can't buy that one. Front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Into the outfield, base hit. So you have to earn that one. one you can buy the Gary Carter one. Well, make you feel good. I was a big Gary right Carter there. fan. Just a simple man. ground ball the other way that man, had eyes so. on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And first offering is fouled off. Bounced up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Over wow, that was impressive. Blood. Now up to him. He tossed Francis it to second, not even knowing if the guy was going to be there. That was kind of cool. Cool animation there. The two guys interacted very nicely together. That one fouled off. Singy, where are you on F1 racing? Are you a fan? Haven't gotten there yet, but I will at some point. Francisco Lindor, a big fan of F1 racing. His favorite driver is Lewis Hamilton. Haven't got there yet. You're not going to get the there. Just say right it. Side, hard hit. In plenty of time to first. That's out number three. Bottom half of inning number two. All right. And here is Will Smith. Let's get uh, Sonny Gray up. Fly Levin back to work. Just oh, missed. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Max Muncy at the dish. In there, and it's 0-1. Bly Levin, he has a reputation. I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. Throws to first. And a couple of quick outs. Trace Thompson in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. And you won't see the skipper rush to get somebody up in the bullpen as soon as he starts to see some signs of trouble. This guy's earned a longer leash. And because of that, Confidence grows with the players and teammates playing behind him that when things nice. and he got him strike three and that'll retire the side Jimmy Nelson gets handed the rock out of the pen He's got a wicked breaking ball in his arsenal and it's definitely one of his go-to pitches when he needs an out But why to kick the pitch Bryant stands in now looks at that one inside Now that smack to right Sounded center. good off the bat. Racing makes the catch. 
One up, one down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Yeah, whatever. Here comes the old one. Now one and one. That misses the zone. Two and one. Two and one. Kicks and fires. Kicks and fires. In nope. the air, right field. Betts pulls that one down. Two down. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. This is his Miami Hurricanes debut, by the way. He's one for one. His first game as a Kane. The other way. Muncie. Ah, couldn't get it through. Save Why didn't first he? As they can't make the play. Anything but he could. Right there, but he just didn't for some time. reason. That pitch got way in on him, and he couldn't do much with it, but good hustle. He didn't even try and, and throw it, it over there. Chisholm, now in the box, comes up empty <laughs> with a swing there. That was weird that he didn't even look over there at first. Now the one. That one drilled left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. That is that. <laughs> Burt's going to try and get through this. Of the third. David Peralta at the play. Bullpen is ready to go if need be. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. I will, Godspeed. A good start with a Maybe. <laughs> Everything came together for him. Really now that he gave up a run, I don't know. We'll try and keep him in. To stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball He's getting the tired. Screws. Miguel Rojas up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. That misses the zone. Ball two. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game. Now he's out of energy, so I can't keep him in past this batter. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Peralta gets his lead at first with nobody out. Oh, he swung at it. Had him out front for the strikeout. All right, now I got to take him out. For the Dodgers, Michael Bush. Sonny Gray is working Sonny on Gray. a it's mission. This is his hurricane they debut. He can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of He'll get a save if hitting. he can finish this off. And first offering is fouled off. Tying run at the plate. Good eye right there. Way to lay off that pitch down. Swing and a miss. One and two. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. Got him! Two away. So the lineup Number flips Freeman. over. Freddie Freeman Ray. steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Freeman. First pitch. I can't figure misses. out why Freddie Freeman is batting first. He doesn't have any speed. There. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. And it is two and one. That one missed. Yeah. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't groove one either. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. Got him. Got him. And that's the ball game. Kings eliminate the Dodgers and win the Jackie Robinson conquest map. Great job by the pitching staff to shut him out. Line 11 had six strikeouts in two and a third innings. He pitched well. Sonny Gray got his first save. Kane's two, Dodgers nothing. Chris Bryant one for two with a double and RBI. Thank you, Godsby. Fly 11 gets the win. Sonny Gray gets the loss. Nope, I'm sorry. He gets the save. All right. 
two thousand for that, so now we're twelve thirteen thousand. Oh, I forgot to look at the progress. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. That's all right. We got 200 stubs, 400 experience, another Diamond Duos pack. That will lead to nothing. I'm fairly certain most of them do. And that's it. All on is a habit pack, 200 stubs, 200 experience. We reign supreme. Okay. All right, next up we have Smooth Jazz. This one's ready to go. We have, uh, let's see, three teams remaining. The Orioles, the Mariners, and the Marlins. Let me know who you want me to play first. Seattle, Baltimore, or Miami. First team mentioned is who I'll play. Let me know who you want me to play first, and that's who I will match up against. Let me know Seattle, Miami, or Baltimore. Godspeed says Seattle, Seattle it is. All right, and yeah, see, I, I don't know where Bly Levin is. I forgot to check the progress. I'm going to go with the roof open. July 7 p.m. So we're going to let Bly 11 get the start again. I don't know what anybody did on their missions. I forgot to check. Chris Flexen, 68 overall. He's the starter for the Mariners. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's the Hurricanes taking on the Seattle Mariners. All right, ready to go here. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder, Mini Minoso. 545 with a homer and two RBIs. Line to the pitch. On the ground to third. Tosses to first. And Minoso is set down. And now it's Frankie Lindor. This kid is so special. He's a shortstop by trade and big time power. To the right he side, does. France. You he didn't see it there. The bag, two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. Here's Chris Bryant now. He had a good debut in Los Angeles. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Seems like from day one, his strike zone and plate discipline looked like he'd been in the league for six years already. Pitch misses there, and that's ball two. That one down the line. Oh, bounced right over the base. Tosses to first. Bryant out of the play. And it's a AJ Pollock at the dish. Here you go. For the Mariners, the left fielder. The wind of the pitch. Pollock. Base hit, left center field. Sam Haggerty up next for the Mariners. First offering misses the mark. Line drive, base hit. Search not off to a very good start here. But the go ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. And now to Oscar Hernandez. Swings and misses. Strike one. Ground ball could be two. Lifts to second. That's one. Nice Plenty job. Of time at first, that's a double play. Julio Rodriguez up next for the Mariners. Bounced out to short. Oh, he got out of the Julio jam nicely. The that's one in the books in back Seattle. No Martin, score. Top of the second. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Ten homers, 28 RBIs. For Giancarlo to go along with a 407 batting average. And there's a base hit to left. A 
always feels amazing getting a job done. Thank you guys, it seemed kind of easy after he got him into the trouble. Rip shit, oh, just foul. Freddie Freeman off to a good start since joining the lineup. Left hand hitter waits. Fly ball down the line. Pollock has this one sized up. Ooh. Squeezes it. And there's one away. Fans got a little happy when he hit that fly ball. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. Maybe Jazz is hitting 278 with an RBI. Hit on the edge of the grass. Has not been all that spectacular since joining the Hurricanes lineup. He's got Swing good speed. Look at his contact and power, 101 and 114. He's got the numbers. He just hasn't shown them, them off yet. Yeah. And swinging a shit like that isn't going to get it done. Next offering misses. It's two and two. And another ball. Calling this count. Runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, boo. Ripped on a Drop. line to center. Nope. <laughs> Rodriguez makes the play, and there's two down. Bull Bichette up to the dish. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. That one uh -oh. is absolutely belted. Sounds good. And that is gone. gone. Bo Bichette, Bichette gives the Canes a 2 0 lead. That gives him a lead. It's His 2 0. Sixth of the year. This kind of velocity so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. 401 so feet down the on the concourse and back of the bullpen. Matt Brash gets the ball now. And we all know about a slider. It's just now, filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say, spin rate's very high and it just breaks a ton. And he'll one. This one in the air right Crowd field. gets one down and in falls. right field. And that keeps the inning going. Back to back base enough. hits. With the way the defenders catcher, track down ball. balls these days, no, no. I mean, both from the infield Man. and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. Now, here is Johnny Bench. It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. That looked more than a looked like more than a pitch out. Johnny Bench is a 99 now. He's leveled up a couple of times. That ball looked like it was going clear over the catcher's head. Ugh. Next pitch has popped up. France makes the play, and that'll do it. That's all right. Back in Seattle, and here's the catcher, Cal Raleigh. Vlad Levin got through that first inning with only six pitches. He got in a jam and then got out of the jam and did it all in six pitches. That is a very efficient inning. Uh-oh. That's not good. And that one is out of here. He flexes his power with that swing, and they inch closer. It's 2-1. And now, Ty France. And there's the strike. There goes that efficiency right down the shitter. Catch it. Pulls up and that's in oh, there for come enough. on, man. If the ball drops right in front of you like that, you got to charge oh, that and make that the catch. Right there. That pretty much split the zone that's down right, Godspeed. Those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Colton Luong. The next day hit takes high for ball one. In the air, left side. And there's one down. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Yeah, yeah. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Tap of the zone, and it's called a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. 
Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. The one two. And just misses with that one. It's a good take. Got him nice. Landing. And two away now. Have a seat, sir. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. Next pitch downstairs. And that is ball one. Line drive, base hit. Well, that guy's got no wheels on second. And also with a quick throw back in. As the tying run is forced to stop at second. Now it's going to be A.J. Pollock. Swing and a miss. Strike one. The fans are certainly fired up here in Seattle. It's the rowdiest fan base I've heard yet. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Got him, and that might be all for Burt. Strike three. Diego Castillo into the game. Let's we'll see what happens here. So looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And a pitch. That'll Line drop. Right, and that'll be a base hit. So, man aboard. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Francisco Lindor. He's 0 for 1. Pitch out, but no action. Castillo, in his fifth season, he features a slider, a sinker, and he works in a four-seamer. There's a strike. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Line drive. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Right, Adam. So up next, Chris Bryant. Castillo will throw over, and he's back in on a dive. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Ball strike one is so critical, and in a bat like this, with a real threat at the plate, looking to do damage. Rudder takes off. And that one lifted in the air center field. Yeah, I should have taken Rodriguez it and let him steal. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Here's Stanton now. Singled and scored his first time. Stanton. Up the middle. It's through. Oh, it gets through. All right. Minoso holds up. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Didn't take long to get a result for that. All right, Freddie Freeman. Just a base hit will bring him in, Freddie. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Right up the middle. That'll bring Minoso in. Three to one, Miami. Throw is wide. He's off the bag. Run scores, and this inning continues. Yeah, the batter now, Jazz Chisholm Jr. 0 for 1 so far. Ball one there. Hit on the ground to the right side. He handles it himself, inning over, and it and All right. Set for the bottom of the third, and stepping in for the Mariners, Sam Hagney. Low yellow. Well, he's got a batter, maybe two in him. Freeman, the Gold Glover, makes the play. See if he can finish it off. One up, one down. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. No, he's in the red. And he grounds one to the right side. Two pitches, two outs, though. He should be able to finish it. the first. And Hernandez is out. So it's their last chance in this one. Julio Rodriguez up next for the Mariners. That's in for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Swings through that. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good Lyle time. Lyle Evan looking for the complete game. Got it. 
Canes eliminate the Mariners. Three to one. Three one for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew. I'm John Oh, the ship, the player of the game, one for one with a homer and two RBIs. John Carlos Stanton, two for two. Minnie Minoso, one for two. Freddie Freeman, one for two with an RBI. Bly Levin had three strikeouts in three innings. Did give up a run on five hits, though. He got roughed up a little bit, but he got the win. And that's all that matters. Bly Levin's 2-0. His ERA is one two nine. Thank you, Godspeed. And we're at three thousand XP for that. So now we're at fourteen. So we need ten thousand more. To spin that wheel again. Got a pack. All right. So what what is remaining? Miami and Baltimore. Who do you want me to play next? Let me know. Miami Marlins or the Baltimore Orioles. Miami Marlins, Lone Depot Park, or Baltimore Orioles, Camden Yards. Let me know who you want me to play first. M, Miami, I'm going to guess that is. All right. Canes and the Marlins, Battle of Miami. Roof is going to be open April 11 a.m. All right. Oh, I didn't check again. Shit. Again, I didn't check the progress. I need to check the progress. Bly Levin might be finished with his mission. I never forget to do that. How, how the hell do I forget to do it two, two games in a row? Johnny Cueto is a 72 this year. He's really dropped. Here in Miami, Lone Depot Park. Diamond Dynasty Baseball coming your way on the show. It's the Hurricanes taking on the Miami Marlins. Ready to Battle go. of Here's Miami. Minoso. Yeah, I, I need to check the progress. Minoso. I can't believe I forgot to do pitch. that two games in a row. I never forget that. Swing and a miss. And this one is off and running. Up the middle, Wendell. Tosses to first, and Minoso is set down. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. And that one hit to first. Cooper Got takes it. it to the bag. Quick start to this afternoon's action. Two yeah. Goal. Here's Chris Bryant third. now. The third baseman. Chris Three pitches, two outs. Bryant. Damn it. Ripped to short. There's strikes. Over He's throwing Cooper. strikes. Bryant out of the play. And that'll do it. Remember when that monstrosity, ugly ass thing was out there? That's the Auto Nation Park. beverage Louisa park or whatever they call it now. In. The second baseman, Louis. Oh, oh yeah. And the pitch. There's a strike. <laughs> On the ground to the left. Yeah, I could be playing guys Ryan that don't need to be played. And a quick out number one. I'm usually on top here. of that. Checking that progress every game. Two games in a row, I forgot. Now that's in there for strike one. Very odd. That's a strike. Well, off to a good start. He's got to get the baseball, work quickly, and move the ball. Fans clearly not happy with that call. The on the outside corner. They're not going to like that much either. For the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. On the ground to third. Oh, Knocks come on, dude. Get it. But in right. time, nice job to Way stay to stick with it. With it. The you got through that pretty quickly. All set for the start of the oh, inning. John Carlos yeah. Stanton at the play. Right here. The right hander back to work. Swing and a miss. Now that was not a strike. 
good late sink on that fastball out of the hand looks so good and then by the time it gets in the hitting zone hard to get the barrel to it. Oh he Swan hung it. Belted. Stan Gives slams it, it to center field. Only to the warning track. The warning track. Yeah. And he hammered that to straight away. Freddie Freeman's hitting 750. For those who don't know, here's a nugget, as they call it. Lone Depot Ballpark. There you go. Lone Depot Park here, home of the Miami Marlins, was built on the site of the former Miami Hurricanes home stadium, the Orange Bowl. This is where the Hurricanes didn't lose a home game for, what, eight years? Something like that. This is the site where the Orange Bowl stood for many, many years. They tore it down and built Lone Depot Park right on the same location. Very sad day. I used to love going to the Orange Bowl. Double play, son of a bitch. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. Yeah, Bly Levin got through that inning six. That first inning, Cueto threw four pitches. Bly Levin threw six. Now it was right ten pitches between the pitchers. Still no score. <clears throat> and that's in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. Looks like a sellout crowd Lindo. here in Miami for this heated rivalry. That one hooked foul. Between the Canes and the Marlins. The old one. Ground ball left side. Zips it to first. And that quickly two away. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Nick Cortez in the box now. No balls and a strike. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20. Got nice pitch. 14 pitches for, for Bly Levin is through two innings. And we're scoreless. Here in Miami, top half of the third inning. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. That burns the on the bump now. That's the third. That finds and a way through. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And You'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. The 0-1. In the air, out towards right center. Makes the grab on the run. One away. Back to the top of the lineup. Mini Minoso getting ready to hit. Grounded out to short in his first trip. Oh, uh, way behind that, but it might drop. Sizes this one up, nope. grabs it on the run. And there's two away. Here's Francisco Lindor. He's over one. Oh, look out here. He's gonna come up ready to swing in this situation. Check on the runner. And I'm hoping. Back is Trout. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Bounce to the right. The rise. All right, we go to the bottom of the third. Still no score. Welcome back. Leading off, Jesus Sanchez. No left fielder. Jesus Sanchez. Fly Levin back to work. Just missed. And that one fouled off. Right into the plate. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Mm. 
Kicks and deals. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Now it's Julie Guriel. They took the fish tanks out of this stadium. Bounce to the left side. That went to each side of home plate. Zips it across. Those were a and nice touch. Set down to, begin the bottom of the third. to a baseball stadium in Miami. It was a very nice touch. And they got rid of those, sadly. And there's a foul ball. Strike two. Nice pitch. And there's a ball. Boog, it looks like somebody missed the swing sign. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. All right, we're going to extra innings. No score. Burb Lylevin's perfect so far. JT Shagwa takes over on the mound. He may get to face one batter. So digging in, Chris Bryant. In the fourth, we'll have to see how it plays out here. He's still got a little energy left. Here comes a pitch. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So, Chris, how has that changed the way relievers no. approach these innings? Well, oh, I, I thought he got different him. different from coming in to clean up someone else's mess. Definitely not ideal, but the best relievers welcome challenges like this. Comes up empty on the swing. Oh, and two now. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. That slider is only 88. Runner leads away at second. And that's downstairs and outside. Got him swinging. Oh, my God. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Flight out to center in his first at bat. Deep to center. They say it went. Oh, almost took his head off. And that'll score Can Lindor. Here comes the throw. It's off the mark, and he scores. And it's one nothing. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. 112 miles per hour. The ball seemed to explode off the bat right there. He put it everything did. together on that swing. So that's one of those knocks that feels a little extra sweet. And first offering is fouled off. Stanton leads off first with one away. Rips it down the right line field line. And that rolls into the corner. Stanton. Round second on his way to third. They'll hold up at third. At third. So two runners in scoring position. All right. And just Who's up out. now? Jazz, Jazz. Jr. We're going to have you bunt. Oh, Three they're going to walk him. Single his first time. <laughs> That's all right. I'll bunt. For the intentional well, walk, who's up? And that loads up the bases. And the force play Bo is Bichette. Now in we'll bunt with no, Bo. Doesn't get much easier with this next Bunting batter, with Bo. I totally understand going with the intentional walk in that spot. He's just too dangerous. At the Everybody's right moving. Open, so nice bunt. Beautiful bunt. He's going to beat it out. To first, he does. Everyone's safe. The bases are still loaded. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Who's up now? Mike Trout. We're not going to bunt with Mike Trout. Close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Here's Mike Trout. Son of a bitch. Beat it, Mike. He ain't going to beat that. <laughs> That's all right. Luis Arias digs in now. Well, as a hitter, it's you right. want to be part of a team that was no hit. I mean, that's embarrassing, man. So this guy right here, he's Burt's looking to got a little energy left. Maybe on one batter. First pitch, and he just misses. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Good eye right there. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Man, it's second. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Oh, I hit the wrong button. 
I wanted fastball. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. He's out of energy, so this is his last batter. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Left hand batter waits. Oh. Still two and two. And not the put him ball. away. The pitch. There you and go. That one is lifted in the air. Trap brings it in. Runner tags up for third. Not in time. He's safe. It's all right. He's able to move the runner up to third on that deep fly. All right, so bring in Sonny. At this point, he wants to get him over and get him in. One on game, one now, save. Sonny Gray. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Segura swings through it for strike one. Oh. On the ground. He dives, but he can't make the catch. It's a run on the board and picks up an RBI. That pretty much split the zone down. All right, that made things a little more interesting. One down, runner at first. Birdie runs. Strike in there. Throw to wow. second. Great jump, and that is a stolen base. That wasn't even close. Holy shit. And strike two. Two now. All right, all right. He holls it in two away. He's got 93 Marlins speed. The guy in now second. That was a fantastic jump. That wasn't even close when he that one stole that base. And that's ball one. That's that tells me that he's going to score is ready to push things with any speed. type of hit to the he's outfield. He's coming in. A big run, so you really have to execute on the ball. The next offering misses. Two and one. Chase. Two balls, one ball. Runner at second, two down. Got, Got him. him. And that ends the ball game. Kings, hold on. Left stranded at second. To eliminate the Marlins. Ball game. Classic pitching and defense in this game. A lot of good execution. Lyle Levin gets the win. Really Five strikeouts. Sonny stance. Gray gets saved. Well, number two, Freddie two, Freeman, two, two for two with a double. John Carlos Stanton, one for two with an RBI. Bo Bichette, one for two with an RBI. Jazz Chisholm, one for one with a walk. Canes eliminate the Marlins in extra innings, 2-1. to one. Thank you, Godspeed. Bly Levin's 3-0 and now with a 0 8 7 ERA. Sonny Gray gets a save. He has no ERA. Now let's see. Bly Levin gets a bump. One up across the board to his attributes. He goes up 1 to an 84 overall. AL Central Charisma Pack. Very good. 6,000 experience. So we're getting close to the wheel spin. All right, let's see. Yep, Lindor is finished. All right, so let's see what we got here. AL Central is 42%. Lindor is done. All right. All right, AL West is 10%. Getting close to a bump there. NL East, 42%. NL Central, 49%. Bryant is 80 of 200. Blylevin is done. Okay, so. All right. Gray is 122 of 600. All right. So. All right. Is he really got speed? Wow. He can't make up his mind, can he? <laughs> All right, we got a show pack. We got another Diamond Duos pack. I think those things are a fairy tale at this point. We haven't had anything come out of a Diamond Duo pack at all. All right, let's 
fix my line up here. So who's done? Bert Blylevin is done. So we'll put uh, Yamamoto back in. And we'll bump him over to here. Okay, uh, no relievers here. Hold on, wait a minute. Lindor is done. All right, so I can take Lindor out of the lineup and put in his 99 Lindor. All right. And then you have Minnie Minoso and Chris Bryant are the only active players in the lineup. Minoso and Chris Bryant. Yep, Sonny Gray is the starting pitcher. All right, let's see if I have any packs to change that. We'll open these later. Three Diamond Duo packs. No nope. <clears throat> charisma, that's it. So, the, yeah, these guys are nothing, so. So, let's see. Who do we have? We don't have the prices on the values. I usually go with the most expensive one. I don't have any of these guys yet, so let's see. We got uh, Javi Baez, 97. Left field, starting pitcher, starting pitcher. It really doesn't matter, so just start there. There's another set one card. All right, we'll open these before I go. All right, so that means we have nothing... We have in the lineup Minnie Minoso and Chris Bryant working on a mission. 49, 42, 42. All right. Yep. Yep. All right. So we only have one team left here in the smooth jazz conquest, and it is the Baltimore Orioles. And Sonny Gray will be on the bump for the Hurricanes. June 4 p.m. The 99 Francisco Lindor card has <clears throat> been a beast so far. Yeah, I haven't heard him say that in a while. This guy has turned into a beast. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's Miami taking on the Baltimore Orioles. All right, All right. ready to get underway. Now the left fielder, Minnie Minoso. Minnie Minoso. And he deals. Out towards right center field. Santander in pursuit. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Here's Chris Bryant now. Just a reminder, I'll be back tomorrow night with another stream. I'll do another storyline in the Negro Leagues. And we'll have some more conquest to finish up. Because we're not going to finish them all tonight. Swing and a ground ball so to those short. two things will be done tomorrow night. Throw off line, he's safe, and a nice job there to keep it from getting away. There's Lindor, he's hitting 600 with two homers. Lifted in the air, right center field. Mullins in pursuit. He's got it, mm. and there are two down. Everyday during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. And it has nothing to do with they've been they've been doing that their entire lives since Little League. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. They take the force out, third out. Back here in Baltimore, and into the box for Baltimore, Cedric Mullins. The center fielder. All right, Sonny Gray with his first start with the Hurricanes after a couple of relief appearances. No strikes. He was late there, strike one. 
And the righty deals. Foul ball there. This one high in the air to left center. Minoso puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Jorge Mateo now. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Swings yeah. through that, and it's a strikeout. Now two away. Anthony Santander at the plate. And that one fouled off. Ball in one now. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Oh, Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere. Then you got a chance. On the ground, nice right side. Play. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Second inning set to go. Here comes Freddie Freeman up. Freddie's hitting 833 since joining the Miami Freddie Hurricanes. Freeman hit the ability to make contact and slug. He's kind of the ultimate player for the modern game. Calls it oh. in, and there's one away. Jazz hasn't had the same luck. 286 with one RBI. Ripped on the ground a second. Frazier on the first. And Eight that's going to drop and a little. A of quick outs. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. That's true. Swing and a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Mike Trout stands in here, takes ball one low. Out to center. He's under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that's the inning. Back now at Oriole Park. We head to the bottom of the second. So now the Orioles cleanup hitter, Ryan Mountcastle. Getting a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. That one the other way. Chisholm. In plenty of time to first and quickly one away in the second. Here's Adley Rutschman. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Up the middle. And that one finds its way through. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. That could be a dangerous pitch if you don't get it inside enough because as a hitter, you see it coming across the plate the whole way. No problem handling it and putting a good swing yeah. on it that time. Nice Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, he broke Breaks the bat. bat pops it up. Play goes to first down, oh, that was but close. he's back in. Was Almost got the double play on that one. Some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy right. out for the defense. Austin well, the Hayes. bat breaking didn't the help his now. cause. Strike one. That misses. Oh, one bad. and one. Good and that's in for a strike. Rutschman, the runner at first with two gone. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider. We're back to start All the right, third. And go to the third. The Joey Crable. He's a 68. Johnny now at the plate. Now if you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. And a pitch. 
And a foul ball. Here's your one. And a foul ball, third base side. The 0 2. Right back yeah. to him on the mound. Yeah, this is a good Gone in the third. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get. You can the see they still haven't faces. fixed that white chicken fox bit. face. And then from there, either. can really settle in. Hammered on base the line, base hit. So the go ahead run is addressed a lot of issues. There's still some things. That need attention. Everything came together. Like wrong logos right showing up. You'll often hear the phrase the white chicken fox face. It, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. And now it's gonna be Chris Bryant. In uh, on the ground might be two. Feed to second, that's one, and that's two. Uh, Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the go. inning. Now here's the Orioles DH. Gunner He's Henderson. out of energy. You got to come out. Not a safe situation, so we'll bring in Lee Smith. The new pitcher in the game, Lee Smith. 32 games, 7 and 0 with 11 saves. He's in position. ERA of 2.2. The pitch. There's a strike. Trying to keep good speed oh, off the bases. Ah. Strike two. That was absolute gas. Triple oh, digits on the right. gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. In the air to left center. He's under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. One up, one down. Now, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Adam Frazier, the next to bat, checked his swing. That's ball one. Next one misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Swings and misses. Now two and one. You tell him, Chris. Set him straight. And that's in for a strike. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Well, let's see. Check swing didn't go. Three and two now. And he walked him. Ah. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that ball. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup. And now the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Swings through that one. He earned that walk. I'll agree with that. And a swing and a miss. At the belt and fires. Foul ball still 0-2. Righty delivers. Next Ooh. offering is outside. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Didn't oh, tell. Strike three on the fastball. And that ran back over the inner half. So next to hit for Baltimore. Jorge Mateo struck out swinging his first time. That one finds the zone. And that is strike one. Swing and a miss. 98 on the gun. Here's the 0-2. Uh. Line drive, base hit. Throw comes in quickly, but the winning run is now in scoring position. Two away. So first and second with two outs. And now the right fielder, Anthony Santander. He's 0 for 1. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Way out front for strike two. Work ball. 0-2 now. This one popped up. 
All right, we're going to extras. Welcome back, and now on the mound to start the fourth, Danny Coulomb. And he's got a big-time breaking ball to contend with. Uh, hitters going to have to pick it up early if they're going to have he's any chance. He's a 67 overall right now. Go ahead, run on base. Now up to him, Francisco Lindor. The switch hitter batting right. And the pitch. Bounced up the middle. Mateo. Tosses to first. Lindor retired. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. I probably should have bunted. He'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. Lindor's got good back control, though. Good power. That's trouble. That's going to drop. That's going to bring in a run. So runners at the corners and one out. Bounced over the wall. So it's an automatic double. RBI double by John Carlos Stanton. Freddie Freeman gives the Hurricanes a one to nothing lead. Awkward swing there from the big left. Awkward. Not the word I would use, but I guess it makes the point. Ground ball right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And Freeman is retired. The runner moves Jazz to third. Come on, now. Jazz. Get him in. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Got it through. Two nothing canes. Big oh, hit by Jazz. Right there. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game. That's his second RBI on the ground, it's gonna of the season. New pitcher on here, Michael Gibbons. Yes, and this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. That now drops. Jazz has some speed. He Jazz didn't play that good. He may try and score. Turn. He does, and he's out. Tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Nailed. That's all right. Ryan Mountcastle. Yeah, we're gonna bring in Devin Williams. With a new rule placing a runner on second to Twelve begin, games, he's 0 and 1 with 11 saves. He has one blown save. Yeah, much ERA of 1.69. To your dismay, not much sacrifice bunting. Teams usually try for the big inning. Certainly not that much bunting for the road team as they try and play for the big inning, but for the home team. If the road team doesn't score, you'll see the home team bunt sometimes. Got him swinging nice. for the K. Gassed it right by him. Here's the catcher right to by him. Adley Rutschman. One for one with a single so far. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. One ball, no strike. Swing and a miss as he was late one that one. time. Here's a 1-1. Swings through that one, one out in front that time. Swings through nice. it and that's a strikeout. And next for the Orioles, Ramon Urias. That one's in there, 0-1. And now Ooh. one strike away. Not the location I was looking for. He's throwing the old screwball. I haven't thrown one of those yet. That might catch him off guard. Fights that one away and the count remains 0-2. Nope. He got a piece of it. Swing got him. and a miss. And that's the ball game. And the Hurricanes oh, win the smooth jazz conquest game, map. Pretty clean. That's kind of what you want to see. Devin Williams struck out the side, earning his 12th save. Lee Smith gets the win. John Carlos staying one for two with a double and an RBI. Bo Bichette two for two with a double. Jazz Chisholm one for two with a big RBI. Benny Minoso one for two. Canes eliminate the Orioles two nothing. Thank you, Godspeed. I think that's going to be my last game of the evening. Lee Smith gets the win. He's 8-0 oh out of the bullpen now. ERA at 2-1-2. Devin Williams picks up the save. His ERA stands at 1.54. And, oh, I made it. Did I make it? Nope. 
Oh, look at how close I am. Oh, I got to play one more game. <laughs> I got to play one more game so you guys can see the wheel, those of you who have not seen it yet. <clears throat> I'm 400 shy, so we'll, we'll play one more game. Cannot let that go because I want to get it on camera. All right, so let's take a look at our progress here. 42% for AL Central. Doesn't look like anybody did anything. Chris Bryan is 105 of 200. Sonny Gray, 222 of the 600. All right. Yeah, we got to play one more game. All right, we got a, we got a uh, uh, what, what do you call that? A pack and 350 stubs. Okay, another pack. Another pack. All right, we reign supreme. Okay, so those are done. Why isn't that listed as complete? Well, I guess you can keep doing it over and over again. Why would you want to? Play repeatable goals. Okay. Yep. So I don't see. Well, what are the goals? Complete, complete. What do you get? A pack, a pack, and a pack, and a pack? Yeah, that ain't worth it. All right. What do we have left for Team Affinity? We got, uh, we're gonna play one game of this so we can, uh, see that wheel. So we're gonna play one game. So let me know who you want me to play. We have the San Francisco Giants, the San Diego Padres, and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Who do you want me to play? That'll be the final game of the evening. And we'll finish this one off tomorrow night after we do another Negro League storyline. But we're gonna play one game here tonight so we can get to that wheel. At the end of the Season 1 XP path. So we have the Padres. The Diamondbacks. And the San Francisco Giants. Let me know who you want me to play. And that will be the final game of the evening. San Diego it is. Alright. Petco Park. Sonny Gray will be on the bump again. August 4 p.m. Sunny Gray. All right, yeah, that's uh, it's pretty cool how it goes. I like that. I like how they have that set up this year. This will be the third time I've got it to Hello spin Park today alone. Downtown San Diego. Every 50,000. Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's Miami and the San Diego Padres. And stepping in is the speedy Minnie Minoso. The left fielder, Minnie Minoso. And I'll finish this conquest tomorrow night. And first offering is fouled off. Lined, and that's a base hit. That's a pretty big mistake there with a speedster on first. All day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Oh, right back up the middle. Just over his head. Holds him at second, but the go-ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. Here's Francisco Lindor. Swing and a grounder foul, first base side. Uh. Minoso over at second. Bryant at first with no outs. Well, he knows. What are you swinging at, Frankie? Anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. Cronenworth over to second. Back to first double play. 3-6-3, three, three, nicely done. All right. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Just a base hit. There it is. Kane's lead, 1-0. And they'll score first. It's 1-0. 
Raleigh gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. That ball was drilled, 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be. With that's this through for an, oh, wait, maybe not. He, can't hang on. he keeps it in, no but Freddie gets he safely. a single. Looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Just a Jazz has his average up to 304 after that big game, RBI single in right down the middle, previous game. Right on top of it. great to get on the board in the first frame Way inside. of the ball game. No, Here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. And the next pitch is way outside. 0-2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. The 1-2. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult. Oh, uh, that Ripped one's right trouble center. into the Should gap. One run's going to score. Two One runs, runs are going to score. Jazz is going to third. He'll score as well. And they lead by three. Nicely done. He stayed at second. Two. Why no, did he, he stay at second? There. Didn't come out of it's his a two-run nice double. Tight swing, Should have been a ball. triple. Bobachek gets a chance to hit. That's down the line. Down to third. Fair ball. Has some trouble with it. That leaves him without a throw, and they don't get the out. Good first We're inning here for line. Miami. Mike Trout hitting this and out of the Big order. Mike's going to get the walk. Intentional pass coming. Pansy asses down don't want to pitch to him. Set up a force at every base. Johnny Bench steps up to the plate. Johnny Bench. Ah, Five behind it. Well, the move paid off He's for them. Got it, and that'll end the inning. Back here in San Diego, here's the shortstop at the play. Another thing about that uh, wheel at the end of the XP path, for those of you, you who don't know, um, you spin the wheel. Once you reach your 500,000 XP, every 50,000 XP after that, you get to spin the wheel. But if you get like 52,000 it, it carries over and it starts to roll over Derek again Jeter. so like here well, we now just got 1,300 XP for that last and half inning quite get there. but we're only uh, it was only what 400 shy of hitting the 50,000 so once it hits the 50,000 mark it starts all over again count one and two. so you'll see after I spin the wheel I'll already be at one or 2,000 XP Swings and lines a base hit into left field. And route to that 50,000 once again. Back against the wall with so it's pretty cool. You don't lose away. anything. Absolutely punished that pitch. Wasn't fooled in the slightest. 109 oh, off the bat. They don't they screw you out of any points, which is cool. This one in the air center field. Trap makes the grab one down. Here's Machado. Bogart's on the goal. And he grounds one back up the middle. There's one. On the Nicely Freddy. done. That was Jazz. Chisholm has been really solid in the field. Welcome back, and we've got a new arm playing second base. Second. Luis Garcia. Maybe not so much at the plate, but he's been solid so in the field. I'll say over. that. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Mini Minoso. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hander deals. Ooh, Sliced late. hard, but foul. Right handed reliever. Slow oh. roller to third. Machado. Little number down to third. And Minoso is set down. Good late bite on that slider, got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it, exactly what he was supposed to do. Bryant, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Out to short, Bogarts fields it cleanly. Fires across the diamond. 
Two up, two down in the top of the second. Now batting. Two outs, bases shortstop. empty. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. I don't Francisco know why I like Lindor, those little pitches tonight. Multiple gold gloves and a platinum glove. Multiple all-star appearances. Mr. Smile. He jumped oh, all over that deep. one. Way back there. That might go. And go. It does. Francisco, Francisco Lindor, Lindor, his third Lindor of the year. And they add to the lead. It's 4-0. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Here's Stanton. 410 one feet. One with a single and a run scored so far. On a line out towards center. Right at him. And they take care of Stanton for the out. And that. Back here at Petco Park. And now it's Juan Soto. No left fielder. Gray, back to work. Sonny got through that first inning. Eight pitches. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Inside, ball one. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Got him looking. Now one away. Take a seat, Mr. Soto. Now it's Matt Carpenter. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And here it comes. And that one in the air center field. Trap makes the catch. And there's two down. Fell off to a great start. He's really here. cruising out there on the mound. The He's yeah, I thought to he was getting tired. Two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Ha Sung ball Kim, right the next to hit, takes ball one. Sonny Gray as a starter doesn't have a lot of pitches the in him. There right you go. Side. He takes it on his own. That'll buy him and a batter or two in the third inning. Pitching change here, Jose Castillo. And they felt it was time He's to bring on a 68 overall. Freddie Freeman is one for one. Yeah, it's a good move. With a single. The opposing team did that to me. The pitch. In the Opposite air, field. field. That's going to drop against the ship. In. Freddie's going to get two. In Easily. Safely, it's a wow. double at his second hit. He might have been able to take third on that. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Especially when you go now. against the ship. there's a strike. Oh, Castillo, 27 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Yeah, it's a big two-run single Next early pitch on. Pitches inside, and it's a ball and a strike. Some of the greatest players in the history of the game. Double, I'm sorry, got a double. One that finished with 500 plus home runs, 3,000 plus hits, and a triple crown. Kim with the throw to first, and one away in the top now of the third. The designated hitter, Bo Bichette. Nice job of hitting the there, outfield. down and in, comes the run from delivers it and the into center to field five. for an RBI single. Well done, drives in the run. So impressive that he didn't get tied up or Big Mike got intentionally walked his first dead. at bat. Good quick hands allowed him to get the barrel to it, oh. just shoot it up the middle of the field for that knock. Oh, right the at him. And they bounce into two already, this one ends. That's okay. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So digging in now for San Diego, Trent Grisham. I don't know if Sonny's going to be able to get through the whole inning or not. There's a strike.
just oh, off the bad. inside edge. Gonna count one and two. One ball, two straight. Nope, he's out of energy. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And in one hops the wall. Into second with a double. And they've got something brewing now. <clears throat> yep. Well, that certainly right. feels good when you can win the at bat after yeah, being down in the count Lee. up against it with two strikes right there. A well-deserved double on a great swing. 8-0 with 11 saves. 2-1-2 two, 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 ERA. Squared it up about as well Just as in case. So the Padres We're going to get Devin Williams starter, up. Lee Smith. He has a great slider with tons of movement. The batter now is Adam Engel. In there for strike one. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Throw to first is in time. Yeah, we're not worried about the runner. And now it's Austin. Just Ola. get the out. Just a weak fly ball this time. But he's not going to score on that. Long run. Nice grab. And there are two outs. That's Manny Minoso out there in left showing off the gun. For one, he singled the left his first time through. And that's in there for strike one. They're down to their final strike. And one and two. It's a good take. Runner at third, two away. And a yeah, swing and a miss, and that <coughs> is the ball game. Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your All family. All right, the Hurricanes eliminate win. the Padres. Crowd. It makes things just a we'll finish this gun quest tomorrow. Just a little bit shorter. Five Francisco five Lindor, one for, for two with a homer. Freddie Freeman, two for two with a double. Jazz Chisholm, one for two with a double and two RBIs. John Carlos Stanton, one for two with an RBI. Sonny Gray gets the win. Only one strikeout in two innings of work. But the Hurricanes get the victory. Five, nothing. Thank you, Godspeed. Oh, that lady just contacted me. I'm going to do a podcast. <clears throat> I'm going to do an interview on a podcast from Canada in the next couple of weeks. We're working out on dates. Nothing to do with the gaming. It's just about my books and stuff. I'll let you guys know what date is chosen. She just sent me a bunch to choose from. All right, let's see. Sonny Gray gets the win. He's 1-0, and oh, no ERA. We're at the wheel now. That's cool. Let's see how it went over. It went over 3,000, so... So I start with 3,000 toward the 50. And I hit start. And it just goes around and around, and you try and stop it. There's really no uh, rhyme or reason to it, because when you hit stop, it keeps going. It just slows it down, so you just hope it lands on a diamond. So we hit stop, and it keeps going. So you can't stop it on something. Silver. Another diamond duo pack. Well, it's not bad. It's free, so can't complain. And there you have it. There is the wheel spin on the Season 1 XP path. All right, let's take a look at the progress. Anything to report? Chris Bryan is now at 130 of 200. Sonny Gray, 332 of 600, so nothing. Okay. All right, so let's open up some packs before I head out of here. We'll finish this tomorrow. Oh, wait a minute. Where's my... It always starts over here for some reason. I want to finish off that little corner. That's just my OCD. I can't leave that there. All right. So tomorrow we have the Arizona Diamondbacks and the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, <laughs> Did I just say the 49ers? The San Francisco Giants to finish off that conquest. Okay, let's take a look at the packs. And let's go through these packs real quick first because they offer the least. 
Sell for 25. New. Sell for 5. Sell for 5. And new. Okay, so we got a couple of new cards there. Oh, we got a diamond. All right, let's see who it is. Sell that for 100. Sell that for 7. New. Sell for 121. Trying to get 55, 53,000 for Gary Carter. All right, let's see what this is. It's the Atlanta Braves. It is Max Freed, 85. That's cool. And he's new, so can't complain. All right, new, new. Sell for 10. New and new. Josh Donaldson is a 72. Remember when he used to be a 99? All right. Sell for 100. New, sell for six, sell for five, new, okay. Sell for a hundred, sell for five, new, sell for twenty-five, Josh Hader, new, okay, very good. All right, last of these packs. New, new, sell for six. Sell for five, and sell for 34. So we got one diamond out of those packs. I don't know how many there were, but that's cool. All right, we have several, we have four di diamond duos packs. I haven't pulled a shit nothing out of any one of those. Set the ball in as a habit packs. Those used to be good for diamonds. This year they haven't really been panning out. New, 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 sell for 81, and new, okay. You're guaranteed a gold in every ball and is a habit pack, so that's a good thing. But again, no diamonds. New, sell for five. New, sell for 25. And new. I don't think I've pulled a single diamond out of a ball and is a habit pack this year. In the past, they've been really good for diamonds, but not this year. All right, so let's see. Uh, this is a random pack, so we have to open the random pack for it to tell us that it is pack seven. So we have pack 7, pack 5, pack 4, pack 1. I don't know the difference because I can't remember all of them. So we'll just open them and pray that maybe we can get one of the big uh, feature cards. Sell for 100, new, new, and sell for 189. All right. Nothing in that one. Pack 4, nothing. Sell for 100, sell for 94, sell for 55, sell for 82. All right, this is pack five. Nothing. Again, new. Sell for 84. Oh, somebody bought it, so we'll list it for 84. New. Oh, he sold already. And new. All right, so... There you go. These Diamond Duos packs, they just suck ass, man. Don't waste your money on them. I'm not buying anymore. I bought a bunch, and I didn't get shit out of them. And I'm not getting shit out of these either. What did I have? Five of them? Sell for 25. New. Sell for 34. And that's new. So, so nothing. Let's see. These things, they sell for 40000 I spent 40000 on one of them. It said, choose one player. And, and uh, I was, again, I wanted the Gary Carter card. I got jack shit. And these things are 7500 I bought a bunch of them. Got shit nothing out of those either. I'm really debating on buying these packs here. Some good feature cards in it, but I don't know if it's worth the money. This one may be. You're going to get a diamond guaranteed. It's just which tier is it going to be. So this one may be worth it. At least, at least you're getting diamonds. These diamond duos, there's fucking nothing. They, they ought to rename it Diamond Zeros because that's exactly what you get out of it. So, All right, that's going to do it for me for this evening. Like I said, I will return tomorrow night. We'll do another Negro League storyline. And I'll finish up. The Affinity West 
Conquest. That's all I have left to do. Smooth Jazz is done. I'm not going to do it again. I wonder if that's going to be at the top. All No, it won't. When we get more, it shouldn't be. But uh, I'm not going to do any more than that. That's all of the Conquests. They're all finished now. Except for the Nation of Baseball. Man, that one is a bitch. I don't know if I'm going to get to finish that one or not. But I'll finish the West tomorrow. And we'll take a look one more time. <clears throat> We're at the end there. And I got 3,000 XP to put toward. Oh, it's 25,000. I'm sorry. I was saying it was 50,000. Every 50,000, you get to spin a wheel. It's every 25,000. So, and I got to spin it three times today. But that's, uh, so now I got 3,000 toward that 25,000. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to call that a night. Call it a night. Thank you, Godspeed. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you, everyone else who stopped in along the way. I do appreciate it. Make sure you leave a like down below if you saw anything that you like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, now's the time to do so. And make sure you hit that bell icon down below to subscribe to the channel. Turn on, uh, I mean, uh, turn on all of your notifications so you don't miss out on anything. Fresh content every single day. And I go live many times a week. So. I will be back tomorrow night. Thank you for joining me tonight. Hope you had fun. Don't forget, drop a like if you did. And I will see you tomorrow evening. Have a great night.